Greetings fellow travelers and welcome to Jacksonville Zoo's Land of the Tiger. This 2.5 acre expansion of the Zoo's Asian exhibit opened on March 8th of 2014. Animal wellness was the forefront of this exhibit design and features allow the animals choice of enclosures by trail systems and encourages exploration and exercise. First up is the rhinoceros hornbill. Both males and females of the species are similar in appearance, with white tail feathers and black feathers on their body and wings. Males will have a red or orange ring around their eyes, while females will have a white ring. Here we'll get our second look into the rhinoceros hornbill exhibit. As we continue along, we come across the second species of hornbill displayed here. This habitat is home to the reed hornbill. The males of the species will weigh up to 8 pounds and have yellow throat skin. Females will reach weights of 6 pounds and throat skin will be blue. Reed hornbills also have specialized knobs on their beaks called casks. Next to the hornbills, we get our first glimpse into the Visayan warty pig habitat. This species is a relatively small species of pig, having a short neck and short legs, small eyes, large snout and tusks. Males of this species reach weights up to 88 pounds, with some males having reached weights of 178 pounds. And females will be smaller in both length and weight. Their name comes from three pairs of facial warts found on the males. Both have tufts of hair on the crowns of their heads, and males sometimes grow theirs out into a mane during mating season. The species also has a distinctive white stripe along the bridge of their nose and jaw. These pigs require dense forested areas at one time. They inhabited primary and secondary forests from sea level to elevations nearly a mile high, as well as grasslands. Over time, however, they have lost 95% of their habitats, especially in the lowlands. Today, we find they mostly live above 2,600 feet, but can also be found in degraded areas of invasive grasslands if dense cover exists. Here we make our way to the third viewing area for the Visayan Morty Pig. And from here we head into the Bamboo Node. Keep in mind as we trek through this area of the Land of the Tiger, the design of this exhibit is supposed to guarantee that every visitor to the Land of the Tiger will see a tiger, while also providing a series of unconventional views and glimpses of these big cats, as well as providing the cats with choice and variety, opportunities for exploration. For example, here the tigers can observe their prey species in their nearby exhibits. Two breeds of tigers called the Jacksonville Zoo home, both Malayan and Sumatran tigers can be found here. Between both the west and east yards, a large artificial strangler fig tree acts as a bridge between the yards. The tiger habitat consists of two exhibits, a large holding area with multiple enclosures and a trail system. The tigers are able to leave their enclosures and travel through the tiger trail system that crosses the plaza. And here in a bit, we will see that they can also cross the rafters of the second exhibit building. The tigers that reside here are given access to different areas at varying times throughout the day. We will also find that special enrichment has been built into the exhibit, including two drop feeder portals, as well as a palm stump which produces edible bubbles. A lure system has been placed in the part of the trail system to help stimulate the tigers into activity. The high descend and descend in the strangler fig enclosure encourages muscle use and development in the tigers. Throughout these enclosures, we find several deep and shallow pools where the tigers can swim. The deep pools have a water jet system to introduce currents into the water. The tiger holding building has six rooms interconnected with their respective yards. In the middle of the building is a training stage that can be closed off with sliding doors. This is right behind the recognition wall. Sumatran tigers are the smallest subspecies of tiger in the world. Males will grow to a maximum of 9 feet in length and in general will weigh between 165 to 300 pounds. 
Their stripes are narrower than those of other species, and they also have a larger mane than most other subspecies. The Malayan tigers have only been recognized as a subspecies since 2004. Previously, they were considered Indo-Chinese tigers. The male Malayan was brought in from the Palm Beach Zoo, and the female was brought in from Bush Gardens, Tampa. And here we'll get a good look at Laurelin Rose. Now we'll head into the last viewing spot for the tigers. Here we will want to remember to look up at the rafters for tigers walking above us. Sometimes we'll catch them resting up there as well. Right across from this final viewing spot of the tigers is our first glimpse into a multi-species yard housing Asian small clawed otters and babarusas. The smallest of all 13 otter species, the Asian small clawed otter is named for their tiny claws that aid them in better handling of their prey. They primarily inhabit watery habitats that provide shallows or pools for hunting and where they can den along the banks. On December 28, 2019, a litter of four otters were born at the zoo making this the second birth of the species at the Jacksonville Zoo. This is the largest of the three species of Babarusa. The male of this species can easily be distinguished from the females by their large, curving upper canines, which protrude from the upper jaw and penetrate through the skin of the nose. The lower canines also protrude from the lower jaw, but do not penetrate the skin. Coming up as an underwater viewing area, giving guests the opportunity to see otters and babarusa swim, as well as an artificial low-lit den for the otters. It's worth noting here that the Jacksonville Zoo won three awards for the Land of the Tiger in 2015, two from the Florida Nursery Growers and Landscape Association, as well as the AZA Exhibit Award for Significant Achievement. And from there, we head off to the last viewing spot of the Asian small clawed otters and the babarusa. From there, we make our way to what is technically the first exhibit in the Asian habitat. Native to only a few small Indonesian islands, the Komodo dragon can reach lengths of up to 10 feet and weigh more than 300 pounds. These are the heaviest lizards on the planet. Here's the indoor habitat for the Komodo dragons. This Asian bamboo garden serves as an introduction to the Asian animal exhibits. Here we'll walk through the moon gate, 
a circular entry that symbolizes perfection, as well as walk through the Lotus Pool, Orchid Pavilion, and pass over the Weeping Tree Bridge. And this will conclude our trek through Jacksonville Zoo's Land of the Tiger. Thanks for joining me. This is Brad, and I will see you where our adventures take us next. Until next time, safe travels, everyone.